Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Tim and this is Run Tall. Welcome to the Run Tall family. I'm really glad that you are here and you found us on YouTube. Now I post running videos every day, shoe reviews, comparisons, shoe battles, uh, videos about training and gear. So if you're into that kind of stuff, consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I upload new content. Okay, with that self-advertisement out of the way, uh, today I'm out on a, an easy run. Now this is a part of a marathon training block as I prepare to go to Chicago and the New York Marathon this year. Uh, the easy run format for today is to warm up for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna run for 45 minutes. Of course, I'm gonna be keeping it at an easy pace. Uh, for me, that's probably gonna be around a, I don't know, 9.15, maybe 9.30 minute mile pace. I'm not really overly concerned about the actual pace. I'm more concerned about trying to just keep my heart rate in that easy zone. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. All right, so I'm gonna get into this run. Oh, and I'm wearing the Hoka Mach X in this easy run today. I've been wearing them mainly for speed work. So it'll be fun today to see, you know, how they do at slower paces. I did take them out on a recovery run. Uh, as well, but mostly it's been speed work, and I'm really enjoying them in that, uh, you know, in that type of a workout where I'm trying to run some intervals or doing, you know, progression, that kind of thing. So we'll see how they do on an easy run today. All right, I'll let you know as I go through this workout. All right, we'll talk a bit more here in just a few minutes. So the Hoka Mach X is doing a great job just kind of bopping along in this warm up phase. Yesterday, during my warm up I came across the snake on the sidewalk I thought you know what that might make a really fun question for the question of the day out on your run what kinds of things have you guys come across it could be animals or whatever anything interesting that you might come upon when you're out getting it done let's talk about it in the comment section below I know you guys are all over the world and it'd be fun I think to hear about some of the things that you guys encounter when you're out there getting your run in. All right, let's talk about that one in the comments section below. I'm excited to hear some of you guys' responses. Oh, got a nice cool breeze today. So much nicer than yesterday, temperature wise. We are expecting rain. I'm sure that's why we're getting a little bit colder air. It's only about 70 degrees, so I'm just gonna enjoy it. Enjoy it while it lasts. So the comment of the day, I don't remember his name just right offhand, but I will put it up on the screen so you guys can see it and read it in full, but basically he was kind of calling me out when I mentioned in a review the other day that uh, there was no chance for bias, because obviously that's not true. There's always some chance for bias, just based on our own personal experiences. Let that truck go by. <laughs> And in my case, probably what I should have said was that there's no chance for financial bias because I have no financial gain or stake in whether or not you purchase the shoes. But I do have some bias, obviously. You know, I overpronate. I tend to uh, be subject to things like shin splints in the past. So I like to gravitate towards shoes with a lot of stability. And I like shoes that have a lot of cushion to avoid those shin splints whenever possible. All right, I'm gonna get back. So just kind of follow up on that question of the day, when I was asking about, you know, what you guys might see out on your workouts. Well, I oftentimes have dogs that will follow me. <laughs> Sometimes they'll follow me for miles. And I had one dog that did this and followed me all the way home. Didn't know where it belonged. So it sent me out on the quest to find the owner. So I put him in my car, drove around, started asking questions. And I finally did 
you know, find his true home. Dog's name is Milo. It's a golden retriever. Just a sweet, sweet dog. Well, I just ran by the house. The owners were out. And as I was running by, I said, how's Milo? And unfortunately, they had to give Milo up because of some health concerns of one of the family members. And so I was a little bit sad to hear that because Milo was an awesome dog. I'm sure he's got a great home now, but I'm gonna miss, you know, having Milo run with me, even if it's unintentional. All right, let me get back into it. Oh, goodness, these shoes ride smooth. I really like that. And you probably can't tell. I'll see if I can get a shot here. But what I was trying to show you is that I was running uphill and then downhill. It's about a quarter mile track, maybe a little bit longer than that around a park. And coming downhill, these felt really good. <laughs> Not all shoes do. You know, one of the super shoes that I have a little bit of trouble coming downhill with is the uh, Alpha Fly. You know, those air units up in the forefoot, I don't think are great when you're trying to go downhill. Because to get the most out of them, you really need to be landing on them. Then going downhill, you're kind of breaking a bit. And so, you know, those are actually the shoes I wore when I ran the Boston Marathon with tendonitis in my right foot. Probably a really poor choice on my part. On my part. So, it looks like I will be going back to Boston next year. I did not get into the London Marathon by lottery. Didn't really expect to, but I was just hoping that I would. Unless, uh, you know, unless somebody sponsors me to go there, uh, it won't be on the agenda for this year. I could look into one of the tour groups, but oh my gosh, I'm not made of money. When I was looking at it without airfare, the tour group is about seven, seven thousand dollars, seventy-two hundred. Add airfare and some additional meals on that. It's easily a ten thousand dollar trip for Kim and I. That's a lot of that's a lot of centavo. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to have a lemonade stand out front or something. Start raising some money. Uh, 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 all right. Just gonna get back into it. Oh, my pace is pretty slow. It's actually around right now. 9.43, 9.44. I'm okay with that. It's not always about speed. Sometimes it's just about putting the miles in. And on the upside, I guess, if you're thinking about the Hoka Mach X and you're worried that it's strictly a tempo shoe, I can tell you that they feel really good at this slower pace. So I think it's a pretty good, versatile shoe. All right, let me just get back into it. So, I think my time's going to be even slower than it really is on Strava and Garmin. I just had to stop for about five minutes. We're talking about, or I was talking about, you know, pets and things like that when you go out and run. I just had this little, like, Scotty dog barking, nipping, chasing me down the street. So, I turned around, let him back home, and just kind of stopped while he barked and you know, did his thing around me. It took about five minutes for the owner to pick him up and get him inside. That's okay. This is a nice little break.
Uh, so I've really been enjoying the ride of the Pokemon X. My 45 minutes of the easy run is up. And so I'm in that cool down phase for 10. But I think I might add, you know, five minutes or so, maybe just to kind of make up for <laughs> the dog wrangling time that I lost. I didn't pause my watch or anything during that time, so that's all right. It'll just make my numbers look a little bit different, but my body doesn't really know the difference. So as I'm putting in the miles and getting it done, all right, I'm gonna continue on with my cool down and I'll check back with you once I get home. Easy run is in the books. I rated it light and strong in terms of the rating on Garmin. Really enjoyed the ride of the Hokamak X today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind of one another. Thanks for watching and don't forget you can email your questions, comments, or if you just want to say hi to the Run Tall family, to runtall2020 at gmail.com. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.